Um, no, this one. Light the closet off in, in case you wanna hide from the noise. Thanks. Okay. Just, uh, let me do a couple of things. But, uh, I mean... Uh, the sun, it burns! Hold on. Hold on. I gotta... I gotta do something real quick. So... sunlight for me. Nice. Let's go to work. Hopefully I wake up in the process. Because because I'm still in the bathroom right now. Well, let's see. Joe is in the back getting everything ready. I'll go grab some food I've ordered. They only agreed to work on New Year's if I want to pick it up myself. You alright? I'm scared. Gabby will show up at any minute. Relax, everything will be alright, I can assure you that. Drink something, maybe they'll cheer you up. Maybe. I'll leave you for a bit, but keep your chin up. If you get through this, I'll give you... I don't know, a hug. Does that work? A, a hug? A big one. Or a word for... Uh, after everything I said on... And done. There you go. You can do it. Right. Everything's fine. Been avoiding this for all these years. Now it's the time to face it head on. You know what I kind of got a craving of? Chicken. Yeah, everything's fine. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Um... Nah, fuck it, it's an expensive us to that. Everything will be better after I talk to Gabby. Boss might even give me a hug. I'm okay. Um, hello. Gabby. Come in. Excuse me. Welcome to Valha. Hey. You talk first. No, I... Well... 
Some days ago, I got a letter. And even a... Uh, an even odder uh, than getting a letter is the fact that it was from your sister. A what? My sister sent you a letter? That's the first time I've heard of it. What did it say? I don't know. I never opened it. At least not until now. Huh? I figured I should read it with you. Yeah, let's do that. Let's read that. Alright then. Sorry. Just... Just that? Yep. Isn't there anything else on the letter? Maybe on the back? No, <sighs> This is just like your sister. Spent... Days worried about this letter. Not wanting to open it for fear of what it might contain. I lost sleep and appetite think of it, thinking about it. And after all those worries, after all those problems, after all these years, not talking to her. She sends me a letter. Fucking letter of all things. And she says sorry. Sorry for what? For a fight? Not take not talking all these years. Ugh, I'm fucking pissed. <laughs> Are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered all the all the times my sis provoked you that way. Like that time she gave you chocolates level one, two, and four during Valentine's Day. And you were pissed about the lack of a three. Or at that time when you uh, left an unopened beer bottle in the can, you sneakily opened it and took a sip. She didn't tell you she did and you're confused all day long. She always bright she knew me like the back of her hand. If the letter was supposed to piss me off like that. I guess she had all the rights to brag. I think she was being sincere though. She did express to me that she was sorry on more than one occasion. She did, huh? You told me she died from localized nanomachine rejection, right? In her heart, yeah. Instead of the Massive rejection that always makes the news. Her case was more focused. You usually amputate or replace the part they call it and call it a day. But organs, but organs are different. The conditions uh, made her susceptible to transplant rejections. And to mention artificial. Eye. Hearts and genetic treatments were out of the question. Yep. It says... Apparently she suffered this since she was 18, but kept it a secret from everyone. Why? How if I know? I was angry to learn that she hit it. Well done. I'm gonna go make tea because it's really hard to talk right now. Oh.
Evet. Okay. Hold on. Okay. How oh, fine now. I was angry to learn that she hit it. Anyway, I'm back. You probably could tell, but yeah. Wait. Okay, just wanted to see if I was muted or not. Which I, I wasn't. Why didn't she tell me? Was it to avoid worrying me? She ashamed? What was it? Wait, how did she live so normally then? She had to use a serum. Shots near her heart every three days. Apparently the serum burns like hell. The shot even left her a nasty mark where she had to apply them. Ugh. So the thing near her left breast wasn't a birthmark? And the rejection was to what ended up uh, was what ended up killing her. The nanomachine rejection was wasn't what ended up killing her. But they couldn't find what made her so vulnerable. Doctor says she might have missed a shot. Uh or the shots made her defenses grow weaker. The condition could have just gone nuts out of somewhere. Maybe it was just his blood pressure. Maybe it was a regular heart attack and the uh, rejection acted afterwards. They don't know. She kept it a secret from everyone, so nobody knows. Maybe if she had, if she had told me about it, I would have helped her. Maybe she'd still be alive. Maybe she shouldn't have faced it alone instead of dying in her sleep. Thinking about what ifs won't bring her back. Yeah? I spent so much time hammer hammering myself with what ifs after you told me she died. Uh, what if I waited to cool down a bit back then? What if I just allowed my fears back, back every moment? I swallowed my. What if I just swallow, swallowed my fears at the very, at that very moment? What if I had to apologize earlier? What if, I had, what if I had given the chance, I've given a chance to the research institute thing going back then. And the amount just increased threefold. After I lashed out at, at you the other day, but today I realized something. Having such regrets is what the dead is a hollow effort. Having such regrets with the dead is a hollow effort. I don't know what I read before, but uh, you're alive. You're here. I can't make amends with you, but I can't make amends with the dead. I can't apologize to her like I can't apologize to you right now. Jill. Lenore. She's. She's resting now. She's just resting after having a heart condition all these years. She didn't have to face it alone, though. If she, if she only. So, let's celebrate her life and achievements. If we are to mourn, let's mourn her together. 
If we are to honor her, we'll do it together. Together? Lenore was a fun-loving person. The best we can do right now is try to lighten up, even if it's only for a moment. I need to ask though, did she really start complaining about chest pain shortly after I left? N no. She didn't get visibly worse after you left or anything. Everything was actually too sudden. She didn't complain about chest pains from time to time, but that actually goes way b back before you left. Back then we thought it was just acid reflux or something. Gods, I even blamed her death on you. I was just too angry back then. And part of me just wanted to put the blame on someone or something. And you didn't deserve that, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. We both have things to apologize for. Don't think too much about it. I should have been mature and not shouted at you either, so... Let's just call the water under the bridge, shall we? Are you sure? Of course I am. So how did you find me exactly? Eh? Um... Well, have you heard of a message board called Danger You? Yeah. I have, yeah. Well, truth is that... I visited from time to time. The other day I was just reading... Uh, the... Discussed the... I swear that discussed the bar. And the description of the bartender sounded just like you. Are you mad? No, not mad. More like dumbfounded. Hey, Jill. Can you tell me what the problem was back then? What sparked that fight? Weren't you happy with my sister? Well, hmm. Back then, I didn't know... What to do with myself after I graduated college. I went in and pretty much hated my last couple of years there. It's not far fetched to think that I only tolerated being there because your sister was with me. Had she stopped supporting my studies, I would have quit right then and there. And after graduating, I got a very good job offer that she accepted on behalf of me in no time. She kept saying it was for the best for me and for my future, but I was livid. Why did she have to do that? I hated it. I didn't even know. I didn't even know if I wanted to go to there, but she still insisted so much. Like she was forcing that burden on me. And then my became our future. And she started talking about marriage. You were going to get married? I don't think... Uh, I don't think we ever took it seriously. But it was just something that we kept mentioning. Not like we didn't think about that down the line. But she mostly teased me with it. The thought suddenly scared the shit out of me. I loved her, but I don't think I was ready for such a commitment, especially considering what she did. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I wasn't going to let her decide was such a big thing for me. I mean, she could be really pushy from time to time. Like I said, I pretty much 
past college thanks to being with her. And that was partially because she was so pushy. Even if she had the best intentions, she's could, she could be abrasive from time to time. And it rained down on me that at that moment, took it upon herself to make that choice for me. Would have stopped if. We would have stopped her once we'd gotten married. What if she suddenly decided to craft my life to her needs after my. After marriage, I knew her. She would do it thinking it was the best for me. But what about my freedom? My say on the matter? So that's where you were. That's where you stopped loving Lenore? No, no, no. I never stopped loving her, which is why it hurts so much. But you have to understand. I didn't want to wake up 40 years old and working a job I hate. Just out of routine, getting used to it. I wanted a break from everything for a while, to put my thoughts in order. Regroup myself, think carefully about what you do next. I can understand. I've sometimes felt the same. I've sometimes felt the same, although I'm not even in college. So. That's what led to you fighting, huh? Eh, you know, the word fighting makes it sound like we exchanged blows or something. So silly when I think back to it. Tragically silly. <sighs> Maybe I was the one who started the fight, getting all defensive about not wanting to take that offer. Perhaps if I didn't have overreact to our argument about wasting this huge opportunity. Maybe she wouldn't have lashed out at me this bad. It could have been avoided if I had just kept a cool head and talked about that with her. My sister said something like that. Eh? Told you she mentioned on more than one occasion how sorry she was about the whole thing, right? Should have listened to her end, but instead I kept pushing. I should have just kept a cool head instead of letting my jealousy take the best of me. It was her offer, not mine. Should have stopped rejecting myself so much into her. Um, it was her offer, not my- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Lenore. <laughs> We're quite the hotheads. You, me, my sis. You are supposed to play the mature one, you know? Play your role correctly. <laughs> but why didn't you come back, Jill? Did you end up hitting us that much? Did the breaking clue- Include us, too. No, it's just that... Uh, remember when your sister was giving... A class and you broke a window? How you didn't want to see her for fear of being scalded? My sister wouldn't have scalded you. My sister wouldn't have scalded you. 
But I was afraid, dead afraid. I couldn't bring myself to face your sister. But I faced her back then, and I was like seven at the time. Why couldn't you do it? It's not quite the same. And in perspective, no matter what reason I come up with, it will never make sense. Um, everything sounds very stupid when I look back, you know? Not that it makes things... Not that it makes things... Not that it makes things easier. I'll never get to speak to her ever again. And it feels bad because it's stupid. And so you and my sister... You and my sis were meant for one another. You both moved on after all that. But neither had the courage to go back and say you're sorry. Uh, and like I said, berating myself over those past mistakes won't bring won't bring her any won't bring her back. I miss her I miss her so much though. We were always together. All the time. Always talking about dumb stuff. I wouldn't Call my parents unless, but she was the one I could always count on, always talk to. I feel her absence every day. Everything is just so quiet now. She was an amazing person. Yeah, she was an amazing person. Yeah. Morning is fine and all. We should be celebrating her life. If she was here, she would tell us that there's no fun in sulking for so long. She told you that all that time. Same way she told you to stop rub rubbing things in people's faces. Both figuratively and literally. Hey, I was eight back then. So, let's have a toast in her honor, shall we? A toast? Yeah, let me get you a drink. A, a drink? Don't worry, trust me. Let's make something to toast Gabby with. Prefer at least preferably something sweet. Um, I guess Blue Fairy? Yeah. One, two, three, four. Eh, fuck it. Might be illegal, but who gives a shit? Let's just get her drunk. All aged and mixed. Blue fairy. Yep, that's for a second. Okay. Um. Lenore, I know you're watching from beyond right now. So give a drink to your little sister. It's obvious to me now that we both meant to take amend to make amends at some point, but we never got around to it. Can't apologize to you anymore, but I can at the very least make you rest easier. So, know that I'll look out for Gabby in your absence. I'll make sure Gabby grows into a fine woman. And just like you were, I'll always be there for her. Uh, I'll be sure. The little brat doesn't face the same problems you and I had. 
Hey. Want to know something? Want to know anything? Want to add anything? Um. I'll always miss her. Don't say it to me, say it to her. It's a bit. Yeah, just this once. Uh, I'll always miss you, sis. Sis. Sis, you idiot. Why did you keep that secret for so long? Idiot. Idiot. I always told you everything wasn't... I always told you everything wasn't that enough, you idiotic idiot. Yeah. And you promised me that you won't be like that knucklehead. That you won't keep stuff like that, like that to yourself. Only if you promise the same to me. And... And promise me you won't fight. I can't do that. Eh? You and I are both thick-headed. Sooner or later, we'll clash on some opinion. But what I can promise is that I won't run away like last time. We'll both cool off and talk it over like a like the adults we are. I'm not an adult. Let's face it, you've been more mature than I have. <laughs> hey, do you mean... Did you mean what you said? That you look after me? I'll always be here for you, Gabby. I mean, I'm not Lenore, but... I wouldn't dare leave my little sister alone. Jill. Hey, wasn't this a toast? Right. Poor Lenore. Faithful. Faithful sister and girlfriend. Cheers. Cheers. Um, so... About this drink. Can I drink it? Do you like it? Take a sip. It's not bad. Why not drink it then? You're with an adult. We might as well break the alcohol taboo here and now. Right. Now that I think back to it, didn't your sister... Gave you a beer once as a prank? Oh yeah, that. That was an April Fool's. I should have known better than... Better when she offered me... Apple soda. I put bubblegum on her soles... On the soles of, of all her shoes. In retaliation. She walked funny. My jaw hurt for the rest of the for the rest of the day. Yeah, did you know? Yeah, but did you know you got my drink that time? Huh? She gave me a beer and it turned out to be apple soda. Oh. Did you get back at her? Well. I did hide all her, all the dildos in the house that night. Only to find out she knew how to use a cucumber. <laughs> oh no. And as a follow-up, she used that same cucumber in a, as a, in, a, in a salad days later. Oh god. She said, So do you, do you like eating me for lunch? Jill, I'll tell you when you're older. Or never at all. Hey. Hey, Yabi, do your parents uh, know you're here? They think I'm at Claire's, actually. Who? Oh, she's my best friend at school. And this Claire knows you're using her as an excuse, right? Of course. 
How would she care for me otherwise? True. Will you go to her house afterwards? To be honest, I didn't think that far ahead. Maybe I will. I do live in another district, but Claire doesn't live close by, so... Hmm. Well, can't be helped. I live nearby, and the streets aren't exactly safe right now. Why not stay with me tonight? Are you sure? I don't live in a mansion, but I'd say it's comfy enough. At least to spend the night. Sure, I'd love to stay with you. Right. Great. Hey, does your dad still have that bakery? His bread was really good. Yep. He opened the second branch last year. So he's looking to expand? I think he got into a partnership with a friend in Murder District. Guy saw an opportunity after realizing Murder District has almost no bakeries. I still remember when your sister introduced me to him. He started shouting, I knew it! I fucking knew you were a lesbian! Mark one for daddy. I think he had this bet with an acquaintance of his. Ever since my sis was 12 years old or so. Dad said sis was into girls. The acquaintance didn't believe him. He even bet a beer on whether he was right or not. That beer bottle is still in the fridge. It's even labeled Sweet Victory. <laughs> Your mom and Lenore never made up, did they? <sighs> I guess that one wasn't as simple as the said one too many things argument. Mom was always obsessed with high society and her circle of friends. A husband and daughter was a no no. I'm still on my sister's side for that one, though. Mom didn't reject her because she herself was homophobic. She did it because her friends were. To mom, the opinion of her circle of friends was worth more than her own daughter. How did she react to her death? Don't know. Mom and dad broke up two years ago. They did? They never got married. So there was no proper divorce. Did you two fight too? No, she just hadn't showed up. I must have felt alone, huh? I've been there. A bit, but I'm not alone anymore. Thanks to you. Jill, I'm a bit dizzy. Must be the alcohol. The what? I did say let's break, break the alcohol taboo, didn't I? Yeah, but... Don't worry, it'll pass in a bit. And let this be a warning... Of the dangers of taking things from strangers in bars. First you feel dizzy, then you wake up in a bathtub full of ice. You're trying to justify your action with a moral. You're digging yourself deeper. Huh? I thought there was going to be a party here. I'm over here. Party? Oh yeah, I'm over here. A small New Year's celebration. Want to save for it? I... I don't want a kid to burden. Don't worry, you won't. You only get... Uh, Pull off for the night though, no alcohol. I think it's a bit late for that. Um. 
It'll give us time to catch up even more. I can choose you to some of my friends. Are you in? If you don't mind me. Great. Hey, Alma. Come here. There's someone I want to introduce you to. There we go. So, and so, what ending was this? Um. credits are going I'll just take a break until they're done even though I'm not sure what to expect from the credits or the after credits Never mind. I think I need to. I think I need to read this before I can take a break, or at least not this, but like, you know what I mean. Did you have fun? Yeah, actually. Yep. I also got to meet a cat boomer. Why did your boss hug you though? Uh... He didn't. She's... That kind of person. Now let's sleep. You were dozing off back there. You're right. Good night, Joe. We'll play some more tomorrow. Good night. Um, so which ending is this? Can I? Um, game? Wednesday, February 1st. Ah, <sighs> to think I'd be evicted. They are pretty ruthless. They don't even allow you to skip a month. I 
I was two months late already, actually. <sighs> Jill, Jill. At least it wasn't because you spent too much money on useless stuff, right? Right? About that. I am, I am, yeah, okay. Forget it, I don't want to hear. Let's go to sleep. Tomorrow you'll regroup and think of, and think what to do next. Yeah. Thanks for letting me stay here. By the, whoa, your bed is huge. Queen size. Considering I lived with a guy for at least four years. It can get lonely. But I... But also really comfortable. Uh, just like the... Just like single life, I guess. Hope you don't mind sleep... Uh, hope you don't mind sleeping with me. But there's not enough space for the futon in here. I haven't slept in a mattress in, fuck, over two years now. That can't be good for your back. And bad for my morale. Anyways, good night. Any night. Oh, it's the bad ending? I don't know, this seems like a pretty good ending to me, I'm just saying. It's hot in here. Having her hug me cunt certainly doesn't help me. I don't want to wake her up either. She looks so comfortable right now. <sighs> I wonder if boss would have let me crash into her place. Oh well. Let's just try to sleep a bit and... No, for it, go away. For it, go away. No, you piece of fur, don't you dare sleep on my fa- Thank you for playing, please come again. You can now save hard data. Loading hard data from the title screen. Bar will let you start up from uh, day one while keeping your items and money. Ooh. Neat. Save this one but I'm actually going to load because I can't load can I load? thank you uh, load... Let's see 17. Uh, let's... Do... Alright then, Alma. I'll pick truth. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to your arms? Well... There was this one time when I got marked on the street, so I, uh... Kind of threw my hands at the thief to knock him out. Through. I think it's what you usually call a rocket punch. So you didn't throw it so much as it repelled itself towards the a thief. Yep. And how's that embarrassing? It was so cartoony. It's a bit embarrassing. It's a bit hypocritical too. The hand is at a startup time after reattachment. Yes, but why add such a function? Why wouldn't you add such a function? Well, because... Boss, don't tell me your arm can also... This hand of mine is awesome. My turn then. Yeah. Alright, Dorothy. There. Do something freaky. Uh, we have already seen this. Something to toast Gabby, preferably, the preferably something sweet. Sweet drinks. Let's make her a fucking piano woman. She deserves it. One, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. All aged. Next. Grab this for a second. Uh, okay. Hmm. Introduce you to all right. Um, um, can I can I please skip these credits? I've seen them already. Guess not. Fuck, I really wish there was a way to speed up the credits. Did you have fun? <sighs> yep. Also got to me a cat boomer. Why did you but why did your boss hug you though? Uh this is the same I'm pretty sure, right? He's that kind of person. Now let's sleep. You're dozing up back there. Alright. Okay. Okay. Really wish there was a way to skip the credits, cause fucking hell. Like, they're way too long and way too slow. Can I please? Please move on. Please. Can I move on? Sunday, August 27th. Hey, that's my birthday month. I guess this is where we part ways, huh? Sadly, I'm bound to this city. I can only falsify my identity effectively around here. I really want to thank you, Chief, for the second chance you gave me. If we ever cross paths again, I... And now for something completely different. Joe, we're leaving for like a week, and we're leaving for like a week and a half or something. Don't be so dramatic. But I... And you're taking care of my apartment. We will cross paths again, because I live there. The time you spent setting up a useless farewell, you could be used asking me things about the place. Like, where the switches and valves are. But I already know, they're in that control panel you made. But I like talking about a control panel, I'm proud of it. Speaking of obsessive likes, Jill, stop calling me- Stop- Stop calling Ar Armitage, she'll take care of your four- Of your four ball, just fine. I'm not worried about him, I'm worried about me. I've never been away from four uh, this long, I don't know what I'll do. You'll do fine. You'll do just fine. You did pretty well for at least 25 years before finding him. Yes, but we're leaving. Oh yeah, before I forget. I left you a box of condoms on the first drawer of the desk, Jill. <laughs> you what? You what? Hey, if he wants to bring his new girlfriend or whatever here, I want him to be ready. <laughs> oh, uh, but just one condition. If you're gonna fuck like rabbits, stay away from my room. I have too many pics of my motto there, and I don't want their eyes to be soiled. I am... Imohu? Little sister. 
then just say little sister. Uh, Imoto works better. Yeah, whatever. First up, Pan Panama. You can save hard data. I already have hard data and I think I should... Should probably uh, use the one I already have. Well, unless... Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Eh, it's fine. Yep. Um, I think I'll get the endings another time because I've, I've, I think I've had more than enough of my fill of uh, Valhalla.